Okay, morning folks. Um, just making a short video here. I've got a um, Volkswagen Golf Mark 7, uh, the 1.6 diesel version, and uh, the bonnet release mechanism uh, had broken on it. So pulling the uh, handle inside the, uh, the car itself, um, it was just loose. Uh, so I did a bit of research trying to find an answer, struggled uh, a little bit uh, for anything too definitive so I thought I'd just make a quick video to help anyone out in the same position. Um, <clears throat> so the advice I was given was to go up through the wheel well which is, is, is what's worked for me. Um, ignore some of the fact that there's lots of trim panels missing, I've had to do quite a bit of exploration to try and get this to work. Um, so to keep it short, um, basically remove your wheel, got the car jacked up, um, take your wheel off <clears throat> and then um, I've removed the uh, the arch liner here, so there's uh, <clears throat> this this loose uh, big loose piece. There's, there's another piece that goes in here as well. Uh, that's been removed. <clears throat> um, I've loosened off uh, this other piece as well. Okay, so this is the view I've now got with with that liner. I've just I'll just back up a bit so you can see what I've done there. I've just folded that uh, that piece of liner uh, back on itself just out of the way rather than take it off entirely, uh, just to give me a good uh, good view and good access up in under the wheel arch here um, <clears throat> so up in underneath uh, the route to uh, to sort of solving this uh, there's a, a cover that, that goes over this uh, light here I've got that to just here actually uh, so I just remove that just to uh, make a little bit more room for your hand to get up through and um, you've got to have fairly small hands for this uh, the route you're looking to go up through is, is through here. Um, so you're looking to get your hand up, up through this gap. As I say, you've got to have quite small hands, but as you can see, I, I can just about get my hand through uh, and my wrist. Uh, so, that, so that's the route you need to take to, to get towards solving the problem. Uh, so if we then come around the front end and have a look from, uh, from the top, uh, the issue I, I have had is, uh, and it seems quite common, is, uh, is, is right here. Uh, so this uh, <clears throat> this little cover uh, ought to be closed when the uh, when the whole thing is actually working properly. This is the cable. So uh, on on pulling this inside the car, uh, it was slack for obvious reasons, uh, and it seems it's a fairly common problem. Um, so I'm just going to try and get a view in there to sort of show you how it is and how it works. So um, normally uh, the little ball on the end of the cable will, will sit just inside this uh, this little groove here. Um, and when you pull on the handle, you're, you're pulling this back. It's actually a little bit too hard just to move with your hand. Um, so so when it's working properly, obviously this needs to come forward a bit, that'll, um, that'll sit into there. You pull the bonnet release lever, uh, and then it pulls on another piece of cable here, which, which runs along to, uh, to release the bonnet latch. It seems like it's fairly common fault on golfs that this little cover pops open uh, and lets this thing fall out, uh, rendering you uh, unable to open your bonnet. Uh, so the solution I've, I've uh, used to uh, to get to this uh, was was as described by by another YouTuber, but I'm I'm adding just a bit more meat to the bones, really. So uh, credit goes to them. Um, I managed to get my hand up through the gap as I showed you from down below. So that that's going to come up from from just down here. Uh, in this this space, so your hand will come up through, and this is this is the area that you're looking to uh, to get access to 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 solve the problem. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess there's there's sort of two ways of doing it really. Um, with the cover open like that, if you've got a spare one of these cables, um, what you can try and do, uh, of course, you can you can try and reseat that cable in there. But as you can see, I'm struggling to to make it reach now without reciting it all properly. Uh, and that's when I've got the bonnet open full access. So I suggest it would probably be quite difficult if you if you can't get your bonnet open. Uh, you're trying to do all this just by feel. If you have a spare one of these cables, uh, what you could do is uh, is to just thread that up through the gap uh, where your hand's going to come up through, uh, and and place the ball in there. Um, there's a little little groove in the uh, in the slot there as well to, to hold the cable in and then uh, with that in there if you uh, if you can then clip the door and close it um, then you can get a pair of pliers on the end of the cable uh, and give it a good pull and that'll undo it. 
uh, which is um, essentially what I did. I don't uh, actually have a, uh, a spare uh, cable exactly the same as that, but what I managed to dig out of my shed was uh, a spare uh, piece of cable off, a, um, off of a bike. Uh, and uh, I think this is a spare brake or gear cable off, a, off of a bike that I had in the shed. Uh, as you can see, uh, the end of it here, uh, not dissimilar to uh, the end of the cable that we're looking for. Uh, sufficient in, in any case uh, to be able to help you solve this problem. Um, so with that cable, and uh, I'll just put some mold grips on the end just to, uh, to, be able to give it a good pull. Um, essentially what I did was to, was to come up through, uh, up through that gap from underneath as, as I described earlier. Uh, sorry about the shaky video. Um, up through that gap as I described earlier. Uh, and I, I managed to, um, to, to slot this, uh, this cable into, um, just to doing it by feel, um, I managed to slot that, that cable into, uh, into there as you can see. Um, so it does actually fit uh, reasonably well. Um, and and that, that held in place quite well. Uh, bearing in mind, of course, you're doing all this just by feel. Um, so in, this is what you're trying to achieve, either, either with a spare cable or with this cable, um, get that in there and then if you can, get that, that um, cover shut. And then with that cover shut, and that, that was the important part, um, I tried to do this um, a few times yesterday without closing the cover, just by seating that in there and pulling on it. But by doing that, you see, it, it pops out very easily. Um, and just trying to hold it in with my finger didn't seem to be enough. Um, I think the, the mechanism is quite, st uh, quite stiff, quite a lot of resistance. So closing up the cover, and then with your pliers, give that a good pull. And um, for me, that was enough to, uh, to pop the bonnet uh, and then you can uh, get yourself underway to getting it fixed properly.